Hi, I'm Chef Michael. Look at all the cuts of Woodson and James Angus beef that we have in our meat department. Sometimes it can all seem a little bit overwhelming. Today I'd like to talk about the different cuts of beef and the best way to cook each of them. This is a short loin. The short loin is actually made up of two roasts. The strip loin, which is on the bottom, known as a New York strip, a Kansas City strip, or a shell. And on the other side is the tenderloin, also known as a filet mignon. They're connected by a T-shaped bone. When they're cut across the bone, it's known as a T-bone steak. You can see the T-shaped bone, the New York strip on one side, and a small filet mignon on the other. As the short loin goes on, the tenderloin or filet mignon tends to get bigger. When that happens, you still have the T-shaped bone, the New York strip, and a much larger filet mignon or tenderloin steak. That's a porterhouse. You can get those thick cut or thin cut. When you take those roasts apart, we've got a New York strip or a Kansas City strip. It's also known as a shell steak. You can get those bone in or bone out. That's a great tasting steak, very tender and lean. The other roast on the short loin is the tenderloin or filet mignon, the most tender cut of beef. You can see it's very lean, almost no fat to it, and so tender you'll be able to cut it with a fork. That's a great eating experience. We've also got the flank. Flank is great on the grill, makes a great London broil, lends itself to be marinated or seasoned. When it's done cooking, cut it against the grain for a much better eating experience. The sirloin tip, eye round roast, bottom round roast, and top round roast combined make up the full round of beef. And each of these can be made into smaller cuts. The top round, as a roast, makes great roast beef. Sliced thin, we have a top round steak. Sliced a little bit thicker, we have a London broil of top round. This is a great family steak. Throw it on the grill. When it's done, slice it, and everybody can share in the same steak. When it's sliced thinner, we've got sandwich steaks, or minute steaks. Or, when the full top round is sliced very thin, this is for brajol, an Italian dish full of cheese and parsley, seasonings and egg, wrapped up and cooked in sauce. The bottom round roast can be cut into two sections, the bottom round roast and the rump roast. Neither of these are good as a dry roast in the oven, but excellent as a pot roast. When they're cooked low and slow for a long time, they'll be very tender, moist, and great flavor. When they're cut into steaks, these are bottom round steaks. These work great in the same way. They have to be cooked low and slow as a Swiss steak. These are delicious. The butcher also put them through a tenderizer, and then they're called cube steaks. These are great flavor, and at that point, they'll be tender also. The eye round roast also makes a great pot roast. You can also cook it as a dry roast in the oven. Usually cook that to medium rare or medium. Past that, as a dry roast, this tends to be a little bit more tough. You can also have steaks. You can cook these like a Swiss steak also. Brown them on each side, cook them low and slow with a little bit of water or a broth, a little bit of gravy on top of them, and they'll be great flavor. And the sirloin tip steak. This makes a great roast beef. It also has a lot of other applications. You can have a tip steak, great on the grill. You can get those in family packs also for a good value. You cut that into pepper steak or cubes for stew or very thin strips for stir fry. The butcher does these or you can cut them yourself. Watch our other Woodson and James Angus beef videos to learn more about other cuts of beef. In the meantime, no matter which cut you choose, you'll enjoy Woodson and James Angus beef.